Hey all you space ninja out there, space samurai whatever, I'm Deuce Dizden and Samurai 8 Hachimaru Den Chapter 1 titled The First Key is Dense. Too goddamn dense. It's too much coming at you too fast. It, it's so much exposition just thrown in your face to get you acquainted with the power system, how specific things work, how they function, and even though there's this much explanation, I feel so extremely lost. Like I'm watching episode 25 of a series that I have no clue what's going on in. Uh, that's the first episode I'm being introduced to. That's what it feels like. Because we get this backstory of the universe, that there are these keys that'll help save this universe. That That's the goal. You have these seven, these seven samurai with these seven keys. Get them all, save the universe. There you go. But it's just so complex. Because you have all these samurais are cyborgs, the keys are their spinal columns and memory units. All of them are bio engineered cyborgs who can regenerate through these this weird technology, which we have no idea the extent of. And they hold these samurai spirits that turn into swords. And what the fuck even is this? And then you get the main character, Hachimaru. Uh, who is very sickly and it's just like okay he's a bit of a brat because he wants to go out into the world his father is out there busting his ass trying to make it possible for him to go out into the world he understands this but he's a little frustrated i get that i can sympathize with that but, you know, the kid is playing this game where we get exposed to how the samurai system works and it's actually a test sent out by his soon-to-be mentor, Garuma, who is this robotic cat alien who isn't even, you know, originally supposed to be in this body or something. Whose master had sent him out to find the various keys in order to save the universe and all that. You know, because he was trapped in his body, and I'm just like, well, why were you trapped in this body? Why are you out doing this? Why are we trying to save the universe? Finding this thing called Pandora's Box, which, uh, if you know the legend of Pandora's Box, you know you should not be trying to open it with seven keys. You know, and I'm kind of wishing that the master was more involved, because she's fine as fuck. But, just, like... There's so many things that just raise more questions than they answer. You know, why do they have to have these, you know, robotic sidekicks who hold their swords as well as their armor and all this other stuff? And why even have it that way to begin with? And, you know, why do you have to commit seppuku in order to show your resolve to become a samurai and, you know, these weird balls that imbue you with the armor, it just, it's too much. It's too much to take in. And it doesn't even feel like I'm fully grasping what's going on. And that's the worst part. The fact that I just can't get a grasp on it. I've read this chapter three separate goddamn times and I just am not in taking all of the information I'm being given and what's even worse is this bandit leader who serves as the main bad guy of the chapter who comes in it's just explaining to anyone who will fucking listen about what samurai are and how do they work. Like when the dad shows up to get this orb thing, the samurai spirit orb, in order to help his kid finally get out the house for once, the dad, you know, notices, I mean the bandit leader notices the dad's necklace which i'm just like why are you wearing that around on your neck out and exposed for anyone to see and the guy you know starts to explain this stuff to the dad 
And he even goes on to say, as you know, or I think you already know this, then why are you explaining this? Why are you explaining this to people who already know? Why are you so exposition heavy? I'm so glad when this guy dies or whatever turning into a ball means. Cause you know he you know he takes the key, raids the dad's house to find Hachimaru and Daruma. We, we don't get really any sense of the power scale here. You know, who's got the superior power, Daruma or the you know, samurai guy, because Daruma does manage to cut the guy's hand off. The guy uses an underhanded tactic, you know, taking the dad prisoner, you know, uh, seemingly impales Daruma, you know, uses it on the kid who has the, you know, samurai spirit whatever sword in his chest, which was powering him, which just brings to the question of what the machine that the kid's hooked up to is actually doing. And, you know, the guy just like, hey, you gotta commit seppuku in order to save your dad. I'm just like, why, do, why does it keep involving seppuku? Why do you keep doing this? And the kid does it to save his dad. The dude takes the crimson blade, whatever. The nearby orb that the guy took with him for some goddamn reason. I don't even understand why the dude took it with him. And not just had it locked up somewhere. You know, you know, resonates with the kid, he becomes a samurai, his pet dog becomes the holder, what the fuck ever that even means, and he wields a samurai sword and tries to strike at the dude, and it's a fascinating enough fight, but it just, it lacks any impact to me, because at this point, I don't care, by the end of the chapter, I don't give a damn what's going on anymore because I've just been so overwhelmed with so much information that I just don't care. I just don't care. I want to just move on to the next chapter or whatever because I'm like so far past this series already and like reading through all of this my eyes are just glazing over and I'm just like oh god. I hope they just give this series some time, just sit, let it digest, and don't give any more information, because this chapter was too much, it was too goddamn much. I don't hate it, but it was too much. You shoved too much in here, Kishimoto. You know, the newcomer's art? What was his name? Akira Okubo? His art's fine enough. You know, it was hard to tell what some of this stuff was, but it comes from the fact that this is a, you know, fantasy sci-fi thing, and they have all this crap in here that is just like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? You know, that, that's all I'm thinking throughout this entire thing. What the hell is that? What What are you talking about? What are you saying? What, what the hell? What? Huh? Who? What? When? Where? Why is Gamora? Just, it's too much. It's too much. I have a very tiny brain and this was too much to intake. Like, Kishimoto, I don't know what you're on, dude, but, like, I, I get it. You want to just take to a series where you just dump the information and just hit the ground running and I'm hoping that's what you're doing here because this no bad Kishimoto like this was too damn much uh, it's just too much to try to follow I feel like you tried to explain too many things and then I just ended up becoming more lost in the explanation. This was not a good day for my ADD ass. This was too much. I keep repeating that, but that's to let you know that this was too much. I made a previous video about this crap, 20 minutes goddamn long. I had to cut that fucking shit because I just could not explain this entire series in a concise and precise manner. It was too much. I'm done. I'm done. I'll read the next chapter. I'll review it even. But with this chapter, I'm done. Never want to see it again. You know, I might just skip it if it gets an anime adaption. Fuck it. It's too much. Fuck this shit.
Damn, dude, no, Kishimoto, never do this again. <sighs> but tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you feel about this chapter? How do you feel about this new series? How, what's the vibe you're getting off of it? Because me, I'm just like, it's fine enough, but like, it feels like I would have only read this chapter because I heard later chapters down the line got really, really cool and intense. Like, that's the only reason I would have read this shit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even bothered with this, even if Kishimoto's name is attached to it. Because fuck this. Fuck this. It was a chore to get through this, man. And it was only one chapter. That's the worst part. It was a chore to get through this chapter, man. Ugh. Never again. Never again will I, I look at this chapter. Again, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you feel about it? How did you feel about all the exposition? How do you feel about the characters? What is the vibe you're getting off of this? Just let me know. Because I want to know if I'm the only one. If I'm just the asshole out here. Just not caring for this. Again, tell me your thoughts. Um, like the video if you like what I had to say. You know, dislike the video if you felt I was way off base. I, it's fine. I, you know, you do you. You know, just tell me how you felt. And if you want to see more of my video reviews of Samurai 8. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. And if you want to find me on social media, just Google Dues Diz Din. You will find me everywhere, for better or for worse. And until the next video. Keep it short, man. <laughs> wrap it up. R wrap it up, man. Just, just wrap it up. Peace.